Yo, 240p game, bad bit rate, boys, good quality, the squad, gang, 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 gang. gang. Top of the moon, top of the moon, top of the moon. Let's get that shit. Let's get that shit. Um, before I get down deep into it, uh, I just want to let everybody know. Um, uh, everything has a beginning and everything has an end. So, uh, if you are one of the few people that frequently come to my channel to uh, get any forms of information or any forms of anything, I recommend that you download all of the videos that I've uploaded because they will be removed within the next two weeks. Um, the channel is going under a complete reconstruction. Uh, you know, a lot of music shit and a lot of other things are about to start dropping out movies, ECT, yada, yada, yada. Um, and I created a new way to give y'all the information that I need to give y'all. So if you really pay attention to what I'm doing and how I'm doing it, uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all of them, they have algorithmic blocks that don't allow this type of, uh, content to reach. So how content reaches and how content goes is when Instagram views the content within the first three seconds, if it's something that's violent, if it's something that's funny, or if it's something that's sexually explicit, or if it's something that's just completely TikTok looking, then they automatically put it in the push, uh, push algorithmic cycle. But the way I am displaying this stuff to y'all via content via thumbnail via uh title via headline ect yada 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 via instagram i mean via uh youtube live it, especially youtube live and content uh specifically aimed at those who run these platforms they have an algorithmic block and a word catch block that filters my videos ect into low low views or low ect or some people don't even get the notification so uh we did a few tests we did actually not a few we did a lot substantial tests with my page recently and um um uh, you know uh just some algorithmic tests to see how things work yada 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 and ect and um uh yeah we figured out what to do to get you know the page uh, view count where it needs to be and um yeah we're gonna go through some dramatic dramatic and drastic changes to this channel so i recommend everyone to save all the videos that i've done it it might take a time because i got mad videos on this channel but it might take time but save them all because they will all be removed um and so, you know, what I'm going to do in the future is instead of talking about it, I'm just going to make movies about it. Instead of talking about it, I'm just going to put all of the things that I talk about into actual visual depictions. So it's like, instead of speaking about it, it's kind of like give you the visual. Uh, via animations, via sketch comedy, via, you know, uh, via short films, via whatever. It's just going to be more visual, a lot more visual and a lot less talking. Um, yeah. Oh, come on, dog. London Mobile, what are you doing?
but you know um a lot of things are on the work down there video is officially done down there is bonkers um you know the album a lot of the music videos from the album is done uh the uh hoop tricks uh the matrix remake but basketball is done um a lot of things are done so i have about maybe about 200 and something actual videos via cartoons via music videos via short films that are all done um and we're ready to flood the channel now with just you know very very good content um and yeah so um a few more things that i want to get into too oh my god it is chilly in here let me turn some heat on a few more things that i do want to get into right? huh um So I just recently did something and it was crazy because I didn't think I could do it, but I did it. And it was, um, I wanted to see like, like if I can complete something and, um, I did it. Uh, it was something called daylight 1000 verse. And what it was, was I did 1,000 verses for $1,000. Then I had like a week to complete. Punch looked at me and said, you crazy. You're like blatantly crazy for doing that. Yes, $1,000 each and a thousand verses. I had like a week to complete it. It's like you're fucking crazy. crazy part about it is like there's a few people that even like late after we're already done like yo they're like like i missed out bro like like oh i ain't about to do this shit again but that was probably one of the most excruciating things i ever did to my brain like i feel like a zombie I was just like hearing beats and just like, all right, words, 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 rhyme, 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 word, 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 rhyme, rhyme, rhyme. It was epic. I can't wait till the kids put all those records out though. I told them like, we should start like a, um, I told them this, I told all the kids this, everybody that, and they're not kids, some grown man, whatever. I told everybody this. In a, in, a, in a way that you could make money back how about we put these things out as an actual project so we go uh, 1000 verses volume 1 it's like 15 tracks whatever and then we upload this shit to streaming or wherever we upload it to and then if you did participate in it then you actually get like royalties back so you know in a couple of years you'll make your thousand dollars back if you are part of, and everybody was down with it. So, I just want y'all to be on the lookout for that 1,000 verses volume 1 to all the way to whatever to get the 1,000 verses. And uh, those will be on streaming sites very soon. So, be on the lookout for that. Oh, there my Cause everybody was like, yo, I should just put it out tomorrow. And you know, I got a daylight feature. And I'm like, bro, you gotta stop thinking like that. You can't think like that. You can't just be like, you wanna hurry up and put it out and get a few clicks. Like, yo, you got a feature, bro. Like you gotta monetize it. You gotta learn how to monetize it. You got an actual feature. Learn how to monetize it, bro. Don't just be in a rush to put no shit on SoundCloud. Cause you're gonna devalue it. Monetize it. Get some flyers, get some posters. Post them shits around your city, like like actually put put a push behind it. Like, 
got to monetize it. Super monetize. All right, so that's another thing. Um, another thing too. Uh, hold on. I don't know why I'm burping so much. I think it's because that fucking shake I ate. I ate it like wild protein shake in the morning. It's like a zero calorie protein shake that I ate. Zero calories. So the shake is designed to trick your body into thinking you're eating. Something, but there ain't nothing in there. So it's like empty. I'm trying to lose mad weight. I'll talk to the protein shake game. Now it's a like zero calorie shake. But it tastes so fire, but there's nothing in there. But another thing, right? So um um since these will be some kind of some of my last like videos talking about, you know, XYZ, yada yada yada. Um Hey yo, it's crazy. I was gonna say that. I was, that's kind of what I was gonna talk about. And um, I do love white people. I love the fuck out of white people. White people dope as fuck. Um, when I do go down my conscious or quote unquote historical things where I like put white people under max scrutiny, it ain't because I hate them. I, I don't hate white people. I, I've said this numerous times. I don't hate white people at all. I actually love y'all. Y'all like dope. Like dope as fuck. The white people are dope. And um, I think like if it wasn't for y'all, I would be extremely sad. If it wasn't for white people, I would be sad. I'd be sad. I'd be extremely sad. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, y'all. But no, um, going back to what I was saying, right? Um, I think without white people, I would be extremely sad on earth. And, um, one of the reasons why I would be sad is if all black people's on earth, then that's, that's fucked up because your chances of being good is bad. Cause now you gotta fight all the like 99 overall niggas, like everybody 99 overall. I don't want to play the game like that. I need some niggas that I can easily beat in sports. And when I play basketball, I go to the widest areas possible so I could just terrorize them. I swear to God, I go to the most, I go to the Alhambra 24 hour fitness. Hey guys, I got next. I try to talk like them and all that. All right, you got next. I get on the court. Jordan! Oh God. Shaking them niggas out of their boots, boy. I remember one time I dribbled the ball for about at least 26 minutes. I was just dribbling in circles. But they couldn't say nothing to me because I got a face tattoo. So they were just letting it happen. Like, I'm like, dang, they really ain't going to tell me to shoot it. I was just dribbling for like 26 minutes, just running around in circles. 
funniest shit I ever did in life. <laughs> Just think, if that was a black gym, somebody would have fired on me in the back of the head. Stupid ass nigga dribbling. Oh God, cuz pass the ball. And I'm and for that reason, I don't want it to be all black people on earth. I don't want it to be. I don't want it to be all black people on earth. I actually love my white people, man. Y'all dope as hell. You know why I like white people too? Because they the only people call me brother. You walk past a bunch of black niggas, sup, fool? Like, damn, nigga, why I gotta be a fool? I'm actually pretty smart. What the fuck I gotta be a fool for? What you on, nigga? But then when you walk past white people, how you doing there, brother? I'll be like, hey. <laughs> Somebody actually loves me. How you doing? I love my white people, man. Y'all dope as hell. Want me to tell you when I knew I loved white people? So I'm going to tell y'all a story. It's a deep-rooted story, man. It's dope as fuck, but I never knew this shit exists. So boom, right? I'm on tour with Hobson. I'm going to tell you why I love white people. Just when I knew that I had a different love for white people. So I'm on tour with Hobson, right? So uh, after the after one of our shows, everybody like, yeah, we're going to hit this club. So I'm like... I'm like, you know, remind you, I'm Hop, my guy, but like me and Hop grew up different, like, you know, lives, but I, I like to be different sometimes. So sometimes I don't want to always be in the hood world. I like to leave the hood mentalities. So I was in Hobson's world and Hobson's world is not the hood niggas. Like, so, um, you know, yeah, we're going to hit the club afterwards. So, you know, me, I'm. Like, you know, whatever. But I'm like, nigga, let's hit the club. It is what it is. I know I ain't got no, I ain't got no too many goons with me, but shit, nigga, it is what it is. We outside. So we hit the club, right? Boom. It's it's not a black club. I'm going to be honest. It's not a black club. And, you know, it's, I'm pretty much, it's probably me hopping another dude in there, but he got on neon, neon uh, shades. So I knew he wasn't all the way black. He was black, but he wasn't like the type of black people I like. So we in the club, you know what I mean? And, and like some, a record come on. And um, everybody dancing, but I heard like this weird undertone and I couldn't fathom what the weird undertone was, right? And it was like, <laughs> but everybody was dancing. So as I like kind of looked around, everybody was crying. They were dancing, good time, but they were crying, everyone. So I'm like, I'm dancing with, I couldn't fathom what was happening. So I said, hey, Hop, man, what the fuck is it? What the fuck is this shit? He like, oh, shit, we had an emo club. I said, wait, what? We, we, we what? He said, oh, we, we went to an emo club. I said, wait, what? What? Wait, hold on. Hold on. What the fuck you say? He said, we're, we're at an emo club. This is the club where, you know, people just express themselves. What? What? He said, come on, Dave, man. Like, just... And no, Hop, no. Shouts out to my guy, Hobson, because Hop helped me become a different person this night. He was like, look, man, see, the problem with us... We all try to be uptight. We never want to express ourselves. We never want to like let all our feelings out and we be bottled up for years. Sometimes you got to just let this stuff out and enjoy letting it out. So I'm like, and I don't lie, I had a battle. I was battling with myself. I'm like, nigga, this shit corny. I was battling with myself. Like, nigga, these niggas corny. Nigga, this shit weak. Nigga, what the fuck? Nigga, ain't no niggas gonna be in here crying, cuz. Crib. Right? 
I was battling with myself. I ain't gonna lie, man. They must have played one of them records that I used to like back in the days. One in the mind on the east side. Ooh, I like your style. And then you're going real nice and real nice. She uh, let me ride. Oh, God. Oh, God, I was trying to fight it, right? I was trying to fight him. <laughs> oh God. My mama, they had me out there crip walking, crying like a motherfucker. Oh God. I'm talking about. Oh, oh God. No! <laughs> So let me tell you, this this where it get even spookier. The more sadder you get in there, the more holes you get. So I seen a girl over there in the corner. She was like, oh, he crying good. She walked up to me. She was like, that's some nice tears you got there. I was like, you like these? She was like, yeah, I just never seen someone cry so gangster. You single? I was like, no, nah, I'm married. She was like, it's always the good criers that's taken. <laughs> I swear to God, this a hundred percent real story on my life. This an actual real story. You could call, you could hit, hit Hobson on Twitter, ask him, did you take Daylight to Emo Club? Y'all's on tour. Swear to God, it's an actual real live story. At that moment, I said, white people live a whole nother life than us. And I started fucking with white people. I ain't gonna lie, I don't fuck with too many niggas. I ain't, I ain't even gonna hold you. Keep it all the way being with you. Keep it all the way being with you. I don't fuck with too many white, I mean, I don't fuck with too many niggas. I fuck with the white people. On oh, God. I said, ooh, I like this stuff. Oh my God, I was getting it. You said, you're going real nice and you're going. No, nah, black people don't like crying, man. That's the problem with black people. Oh, God. I don't like black people, though. Have you seen my green scarf? No, I haven't. What's up, Zooks? High five. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. You got this? Oh, you got him. No. Yep. No. What do you... Oh, you made this house. Let me see. What'd you make? A house. I'm a bad guy. Venom is not a bad guy. He's a good guy. No, he's a bad guy. He's not. He is a bad guy. He's a bad guy. He has a scratch. How he makes a scratch? Just let him sit down? Yes. How? How do he sit down? Mm -hmm. And drive his car. He did that. How do he sit down? You said what? He is, he is you said what? I got dishes. I don't want dishes. I'm live. Oh, you got dishes now. Thank you. You do. It's your turn. Not, not. Yo, but no, like, right? So, like, black people, we got this weird thing about us where we act like it's it's not cool. It's it's not cool to show your emotions. I ain't doing them dishes crazy. It's not cool to show your emotions in the black in in the black community. You just gotta be uptight all the time, man. 
White people showed me it's okay to let it out. My mama, white people showed me it's okay to, it's okay to let it out, bro. It's okay to get them tears out. So it's okay. You ain't gotta be hood. You ain't gotta be gangster all the time. No, look, man. In 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 the in the terms of venom, and in the terms of uh, in the terms of all uh superheroes, I'm gonna say this for the last and final time. All superheroes are bad guys. All of them. Superman is a bad guy. Batman is a bad guy. Flash is a bad guy. Uh, Shield is a bad guy. Uh, everybody's bad. Every single person. Doctor Strange. Everybody. All. Everybody's bad. Everybody. Uh, Black Panther is bad guy. Everybody's bad guy. Only people that are good guys are Thanos. Uh, Thanos, Agent Smith, uh, who else? Uh, Silver Surfer, uh, Galactus, Galactus is a good guy. Um, who else? Uh, Bane, Bane was a good guy. I love Bane. With Killmonger, Killmonger, Bane. Oh, I would love to see Bane and Thanos in the same like universe. Oh, god, that'd be hard. Deadpool, Spawn, you know. Famous. I would love. I I can't lie. I would love to see Bane. I would love to see. I would love to see Bane. Oh, the Joker is a good guy, but I would love to see Bane and Thanos together. Bane, Bane and Batman was like the new Batman movie or newer Batman. Movie. Bane was like Thanos, but he just wasn't as powerful. But he had like the same type of aura, like with the quotes and shit. Like it is now that you will not. Oh God, Bane had bars. The same thing with Thanos. Thanos had bars. Nigga said, <laughs> "Look where it landed you, right back to me." Oh God. Okay. You made some? Yeah. All right. Five minutes. All right. Nah, Superman the bad guy, Batman the bad guy. Batman parents used to uh, harvest or organs, black organs at that. So the Iron Man, all they shit come from slavery, colonization. Oh. Uh, how do you think they got all that money? These niggas are descendants of colonization. Where do you think they got all these billions and trillions of dollars from? These niggas is Rothschilds, Rockefellers, all type. Queen Elizabeth. Um. So look, all right, so think about this. Remember Batman? All right, so think about this. Remember... No. You always wait till I gotta use it to try to use it. Alright, remember remember Batman. Remember Batman, mom and dad got killed, right? And remember when um dad, hey move. Sorry, right, get in. Yeah, I was saying, remember when, um, remember when Batman mom and dad got killed? And, um, do you remember, um, do you remember the, um, the pearls that, that she had on her neck? Remember the necklace? Do you remember when the necklace got broken, all the pearls fell? And, um, uh,
I do know where they got all that shit from, right? Notice that you know, non black people, non black people have this thing where non black people have this thing where they feel it's illegal for somebody to rob them for something they actually stole. I noticed that. Non black people have this thing where they feel it's illegal to rob them. For something that they stole. Like all the rules in America. People broke all the rules to get America and then they used the system to justify the rules that they actually did to get the system in the first place. Like, for example, I said this in. One of my verses, and I say it whenever I get the chance to say it again. How can theft be a crime when America was stolen? And I think, you know, we've been dealing with so many years of colonization that we have forgotten that it was stolen. But how can theft be a crime when America was stolen? Just an actual fact. Just one of those facts that that's a, that can't be denied. But you know. Um, so in the terms of of Batman and Superman and all the niggas, Batman and Superman, they help. Hey, move, Saga. Batman and Superman, they help protect America. They help protect everybody who stole America and ECT, yada yada yada, ETC, whatever you do. So when another nigga from another planet tries to come take Earth, Superman and them protect it. When another person from another galaxy does exactly what y'all did, it's considered a crime. So everybody in every rule, quote unquote, all the rules. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me put this somewhere. All the rules of America. All the rules in America was made by those who broke the rules. And this is just a fact. That's a fact. That's why me in general I don't do too well with following rules. And it's just because I know that the rule book itself 
is fucked up. Move, Saga. But yeah, so that's why I'm really do too good with rules. But in the terms of Notice, you ever notice in all superhero movies, in all superhero movies, every single, every single superhero movie, where do the bad guys always attack? Where do the bad guys always attack? Downtown. I don't know. Dishes ain't things, ain't. All right, I watch. All right, I watch. Ain't. Not. They always attack downtown corporations. Every movie you always see, every superhero movie you always see downtown getting destroyed. Every, every, all the way downtown. Every movie downtown. What you say, homie? Damn it, dog, I don't got no more sellers. Yep. Not really. Thank you. All the Masonic buildings. And... Yeah. Okay, and the bad guy. Yo, have you ever, have you ever seen? Okay. Come on, let's go. Have you ever seen? Um. Come on. Come here. No, I can't. I'm trying to keep talking so I don't pick up the audio in the back. Oh. Have you ever? This way. Have you ever seen? Somebody from outer space come to the ghetto or come to Africa or come to any urban community and do destructive things. Huh? Have you seen any motherfucker from outer space or any bad guy attack? No, nigga. Anybody that has attacked anything African, normally white people. Teen Titan. Teen Titan. Teen Titan. Teen Titan. Teen Titan. That's a Teen Titan. Yeah. No, I need a shirt. I need a shirt. Here. <laughs> Here. No, what shirt do you want? I don't want. Which one? Where? Oh, these are nice. Which shirt you want? Oh, this one? This is a cool shirt. No. Animals. The animal shirt is dirty. That one has to be washed. No, no. <coughs> this is pants. Oh, this one? 
Let me see. What is this? Oh, this is Star Wars. You like the shirt? Hey, you better stop being picky with these clothes, honey. But, but, my party. You want to take a walk? No, I'm going to my party. A party? Yeah. Where? Somewhere. Come here. Let me come here and show me. I need to drive to my party. Where? For Zion's house. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And then what? And then. What? <laughs> what? Totally. Don't get looked at me. Is not. All right, let's go. Come on. Hey, you want a smoothie with daddy? No. No? All right. <laughs> Batman parents work for the Pizza Gate. Um, Iron Man parents parents work for the Jews, Nazis, the Hitlers, and all them niggas. All the niggas that was experimenting on all types of people. Start enterprise. <laughs> it is what it is. You want me to tape it? Come on, let's go get some tape. No, what what color tape do you want? You want gold tape? No, I'm just getting the, the red, orange, black one. All right, go get it. No, stay there. Stay I'm going to stay here? All right. Fine with me. You know why they call it shield? It's like a shield white supremacy. You ever think about shield stronger than everybody? Have you ever thought about that? Shield. If shield wants to get into they if they ever want to in, interfere, they just literally could just shut everything down. Shield. All the superhero niggas got to report to shield. Who the fuck is shield? White supremacy. <laughs> Oh God. Said we're just a bunch of white men and we're stronger than everybody. That's it and that's all. They were white and we're strong. What's your powers? White. Um white. Have a white. Oh, where am I, Daddy? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. oh. Go back. Here you go. Here. Yeah. Oh, here. Let's go. Bring the tape to the kitchen. Come on. You got to put it back in the jabot. Shield is an office full of white people that tell Superman and all them niggas what to do. And then they use a... You know the same role that Samuel Jackson played in Django? That's the same role he played in the Marvel Universe. What's my name? So, so you said you didn't want a smoothie. Now, now you want a smoothie? Yeah. All right. It's the smoothie. Same role he played in Django, same role he played in Marvel. Helping them white niggas get, get finish fucking up and keeping the system of Earth. Killmonger was the only superhero from the hood. There's some bananas. You want a banana in there? Yeah. All right, we can uh, put a banana. Then, would you? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, no more. No more juice. Then we, we can put a banana in there. Yeah, we'll do. Help. Let me help. All right, hold on. Let me help. Come here, come up. Come on, put you up. You. They don't want to put a banana in there. All right, uh, put a banana in there. Oh. Yeah, break pieces. Uh, there you go. All right.
Smoothie fast, you better drink it slowly, homie. Here, yeah, I did. Here. drink it slow. smoothie up real quick. Hey, do, do, hold on. Hey, where the remote at, homie? We put the remote. Huh? You gotta stop hiding stuff. Turn it down, son. Here. Is black people the only people that do that? You know, like when something real good, we like overdo it. I don't, I don't think white people taste like how black people taste. You know, people, they be like, mm, it's pretty good. This is how white people do it. Mm, it's pretty good. Let me show you the difference from God. White people. Mm, it's pretty good smoothie you got there. Black people. What's this? Oh, God. When some good in the black people thing, we got to look at it. My mom, we got to get a good look because we be baffled. It'd be a normal day. Nigga talking about something. I, I think our brains have to genuinely register why is this so good? <laughs> My mom, our brains have to register. It has to legit register. Why? Why is why? How? And then. <laughs> After your brain register how good it is, you got to take another sip to justify it. All right, let me try also. Mm. 